Good morning, everybody. We are bright and early this morning. Uh, 25 to 6 in the morning. And it's just now, well, it's still cool, so I like to get in as early as I can to get as much done as I can. Because it just makes life easier. So, the guys got the, we got the spindles on yesterday, as you guys saw. So, we're lining up the upper ball joint. Getting everything... As you can tell, I grease the snot out of everything. <laughs> so we'll clean everything up before it gets buttoned up tight. Everything's in place. We get everything held safely, securely. So we're good. So I'll snug this up a little bit so I can start getting everything down on its own. Tighten up everything. We'll go through all the nuts and bolts, which you can tell everything's still loose because it was just put in place to keep everything taken care of and help hold everything in place. So we'll show you guys the other side. <gasps> coffee. <gasps> yes, a nice fresh cup of coffee. Best way to start the day. Ooh, the guys were working hard yesterday. Sweet. I love it when you got a good team. So we got our, everything's greased and taken. Damn, I'm impressed. That's bootyful. I got to do some wipe down and clean up, but they did good. Damn. Not bad, guys. Like, wow. This came out really nice. Okay, so we have to, we have to do some snugging up. I don't know if you guys can see that in our bolt. I'll see if I can show you. Uh, there we go. That's not tightened up yet. So we always double check each other, and I didn't expect everything to be perfect. So we will get all of this adjusted up, tightened in place, wiped down, cleaned up. So that, oh yeah, this came out nice, guys. Oh, there we go. I'm loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Isn't that like McDonald's? I'm loving it. No, I wouldn't eat there if you gave me all the money in the world. That stuff's trash. And I don't remember if I showed you guys yesterday. There's all of our parts to do the airline. I have, well, it's a little hard for me to move this morning. I lifted a case of water yesterday and my back is killing me. So we have our, our line. We're all set that way. So I just got to get everything tied in today. And our bushings came in. Yes. Woohoo. Our bushings came in so I can finish off the back end. So I'll tighten up that to make sure that it's safe up front. So that it can be raised. It looks like I can do that, but I'll still double check, just be on the safe side. We'll raise the car back up. I'll get the back end finished, get the bushings on, get the airline finished off, and then come back up front and get everything taken care of here. And then we can work on the gearbox and the idler arm, but we have to have the gaskets and stuff for the oil filter housing setup, which I'm pretty sure we showed you guys, but. If nothing else, we'll just make sure that everybody's on the same page always. Okay, so you can see the bolt in there. And there you go. You can see the bolt in there. And it, sorry, just trying to get some letting you can see the bolt in there. Now, the only problem with said bolt is they smack on the oil filter housing. So that's got to come out, which is leaking anyway. So, I mean, it's not like it's a, a major big deal. Just it's a pain in the butt. And then once that's out, we can put the new idler arm, bolt that up in place, put the oil filter housing on. So we've got to get a little bit more done. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm sore this morning. So, but on that note, ladies and gentlemen... Yeah, I guess just on that note, I haven't had coffee yet. 